Well, the reading of the final verdict in the trial of Paul Rousset Sabagina and the 20 people who are being accused with him is still going on behind me. However, the court has already said that he's been found guilty of terrorism charges, including uh, being part of a terror group which attacked and uh, killed civilians in uh, southern Rwanda. Paul Rousset Sabagina is being accused of, uh, of financing and supporting the FLN, the National Liberation Front, which is the armed wing of the Rwandan movement for a democratic change, a coalition of opposition uh, parties in exile. The National Liberation Front is accused of killing uh, nine civilians in 2018 and 2019 in southern Rwanda near the border with Burundi. Paul Rousset Sabagina is a founder of the movement uh, for democratic change. However, he denies any direct involvement in those attacks. Prosecutors had sought a, a life sentence for Paul Rousset Sabagina, who's facing charges along with 20 members of uh, the FLN. Even before this trial, he was internationally famous uh, for saving over 1,000 people during the 1994 genocide uh, against the Tutsis. Uh, he then uh, went into exile and became a fervent critic of the Rwandan president, uh, Paul Kagame. He, uh, Paul Rousset Sabagina is boycotting uh, the procedure since March. Neither him nor his lawyer are present today at the reading. And as you suggest then, uh, Maria, this has been a controversial trial in Rwanda, but um, around the world as well. Talk to us a bit about how this verdict is likely to be received. Yes, exactly. A very controversial trial for several reasons. First, because of the public figure of uh, Rousseau Sabagina, especially uh, for the international community who hailed him as a hero uh, for saving hundreds of lives during the genocide in 1994. He was a, a hotel manager in Kigali and used his resources and his contacts uh, to uh, save uh, more than 1,000 uh, people. Uh, however, uh, he the international community uh, has uh, he gained visibility on the international stage since the movie, the award-winning movie Hotel Rwanda in uh, 2004. Then there's another controversy about the way that he was arrested. He thought that he was boarding a private jet from Dubai to Burundi, but it turned out that the plane landed in Kigali through a scheme orchestrated by uh, the Rwandan intelligence uh, services. Uh, international rights organizations are uh, saying that this was an enforced disappearance. The family of Rousseau Sabagina say that he was killed Kidnapped. However, Rwandan authorities insist that no illegal means were used in this arrest and that Rousseau Sabagina needs to face justice for the crimes he has committed.